First, we're going to trace our panel onto our monk's cloth. This is the 12 by 12 piece of monk's cloth in my shop. So I'm gonna lay my monk's cloth down on top of this and I'm gonna use a permanent marker. If you have a fabric marker, that's probably better. If you put your fingers in there, you can kind of see where the ridge is. Trace that line. This side is the side that I want my loops on. I want my flat stitches, the back side that you work on, to be on the back side of this. So it will lay flat. In order to do that, you're going to now take this over to a window and trace this line on the opposite side of the fabric. Mark it with a B for back. Use a Morgan nose slip hoop or any kind of frame that you have. This is the Morgan nose slip hoop nine inch frame. And you would put your piece, and that's my back. So I'm gonna put it like this so I can work from the back and you put it in like so. And then I am going to pull this way in hopes to get this a little bit closer because this is already really close to the edge. I'm gonna pull it this way, enough so I can still work, and then pull it tight this way. You don't need it too tight because then I'll stretch the fabric just tight enough so you can work with your needle, but you want it to fit in there. So that's tight enough, so just tighten it down. I want to draw my design. Two punch needle. We are going to use the punch needle on the four settings. So there are four notches showing on our punch needle tool. Stick your threader in the top of your punch needle. The top is the eye portion. Insert your yarn into the bottom and then pull it through the tool. Then use your finger to push that yarn through the eye of the needle and pull it through. Now you are ready to punch. And to start a punch needle piece, you're going to want to start in the middle. If you start here, you will have your cut strand on the outside of your project, and you don't really want that. It will be easy to see it and easy to pull out. So you'll, punch, you'll start your punch needle in the middle of your design on the edge, and then you will pull the yarn through the other side so when you go to cut it, it's already over there. For your first row, you're going to punch every two holes so the loops are close together, cementing in that outline of your object. Punch needle needs to go the direction you're working. So this opening right here needs to go the direction you're working. To ensure even hoops, you want to graze the fabric with the tip of your needle. If you pull it up too far, it will result in uneven loops. And you also want to touch the handle of your punch needle to the fabric each time. And then I end on the same hole that I started with. And so then our next row, we're going to go in the middle of our loop. So we're going to open up our stitch and we'll go every other mountain. The mountain is the top of your stitch on the back. The valley is where the, fa the yarn goes through your fabric. So the mountain, you're going to skip this one and go to the next mountain and go in the middle and the next row over. So skip this mountain and go to this one and go in the middle. And by doing that, you're offsetting your stitches and that should make it so it fills in nicely with your loops on the other side. And to finish, we're gonna pull out our string out of our needle and then we will trim it so the tail is on this side and then you just take your punch needle out of the back. So now we will go through and we will just cut tails to hide within the other loops. Here's a close up. The fabric will hold the yarn in so you just have to trim it. You don't have to knot it or anything. Take our piece out. We don't want a lot of extra fabric underneath when we iron onto the jacket. So I do about an inch. 
We have trimmed our piece now and it is curling. That is normal. And so the iron, when we go to iron the fabric and the edges in like this, it will, will iron this as well. And when you iron this part, it will allow it to lay flat. So my little trick of the day is to use a towel. My mom always did it, I still do it. I have an ironing board and I never ever get it out. Then you'll lay your item on the towel. Iron on adhesive. Use your patch itself to cut out your design. And now we're going to iron this on first. And make sure, you're gonna want to, to make sure any of these frays are kind of tucked inside. I use an iron on your hottest dry setting, so I have mine on four or five. Hold this for four seconds. And you can kind of see if it's sticking, but don't pull it up too much. It needs to be all the way cool before we peel off the thing to put it onto the jacket. So I have extra paper here you will see that is not going to be on the fabric. It's just going to be glue hanging out there and I don't want that. So now I'm going to go around and I'm going to trim all of those edges. Peel off this paper just like a sticker. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to lay it on here just like this, like what we want it to look like. So then, and then we're going to flip it over the side. Kind of guide it back with your fingers. You can see if it's going to fit in there or not. So then from here, this is a thicker material. So it does say to hold it longer if it's a thicker material. So I'm going to take my iron and I'm going to hold it on there. Eight seconds is for a normal fabric, six seconds for a light fabric. So I'm going to do 10 and we'll see what happens. And then kind of test it. You want to make sure that it's kind of gooey, but you don't want to pull it up because it um, needs to cool to fully set. So don't pull it up too much. Just kind of see if it's sticking. Some of it is. I'm going to redo that corner there but it seems to be doing good. Don't play with this too much. I did one in one piece and it didn't turn out well. And you don't want to hold it on too long either because then it will basically melt the glue too much and then it won't stick anymore. The glue will disappear. Once you're done ironing, you will let it cool so the glue can set. And turn it over and see what it looks like. Woohoo! That is awesome.